This week is balanced and unbalanced forces. What happens when one force is stronger than the other force. Woo. This is gonna be really unbalanced. Newton's first law says, one second. An object at rest stays at rest and an object in motion stays in motion with the same speed and in the same direction unless acted upon by an unbalanced force. Okay, so what the heck does that mean? Basically, an object that's staying still will stay still and an object that's moving will keep moving until a force is applied on those objects. So all this breaks down to whether or not something is balanced or unbalanced. So what exactly does that mean? Okay, so one of the simplest ways to see if something is balanced is to use something like this. This is called a pan balance. So if we fill this side with one, two, three pennies, and this side with one, two, three pennies, it becomes balanced. You can see this line right here showing that it's balanced. And as it becomes balanced, it starts to get slower and slower and slower and slower and slower until it becomes completely still. So right now this is perfectly balanced. However, it will experience motion if we get it unbalanced. So there's three pennies here, three pennies here. Let's add two more to one side. Two more pennies, suddenly there's motion. The pan balance is unbalanced. All right, but let's be real. We don't all walk around with pan balances in our back pocket. So let's look at uh, a more common example. I have a book and a stool here. Now currently there are two forces on this book that are holding it down and keeping it still. So what are those two forces? Well, the first force is gravity. Gravity is pulling the book down toward the earth. That's why it's not floating off into space. Now the second force is actually coming from the stool. The stool is pushing the book upward. So there are two forces currently being put on this book one from the stool going up and gravity going down. Now, because those two forces are balanced, the book stays still. There's no motion. However, if forces become unbalanced, suddenly everything's unbalanced. So the same idea of the book and the stool can also be applied to you. Now, you're probably sitting down while you're watching this, so why aren't you just floating off away into space in your most comfortable chair? Well, it's the same reason that the book didn't float away on the stool. It's because of gravity. Gravity is pulling you down toward the earth. So then why aren't you being crushed down deep into the earth? That's because the force of the ground and your chair pushing you back up. You're being pushed up by the ground and gravity is pulling you down. Those two forces are balanced with each other, which is why you are staying still. You are balanced. A really cool way to see balance and unbalanced forces at work is to see how air pressure can become very quickly unbalanced. So you'll need a large pot of cold water, an empty soda can, you'll need to fill the can with roughly 10 milliliters of water. Next, you'll need to heat up that can of water. I'm using a basic frying pan. Now make sure you have a pair of tongs ready. Once you see the water begin to vaporize, you'll need to quickly flip the can upside down and dunk it into the cold water. Now, because of the fast phase change here, the air pressure on the outside of the can became much stronger, causing the can to be crushed in on itself. Well, that's it for this episode. Wait, hold on, it's...
It's my bank. Yep. Really? They said I have an outstanding balance. Wow, thanks guys. What? Wait, that's not a good thing? But you said outstanding. I'm confused. Goodbye, beautiful people.